is no small anxiety for someone to have a huge sum of money. And happy is the man who keeps all his cash well invested. Meanwhile, I was a little surprised to find in the whole of this house not one safe hiding place. Do not speak to me of your strong boxes. I will not heed to them why they are the very things that thieves seize upon. <laughs> Meanwhile, I hardly know whether I did right to hide in my garden the ten thousand of roosters that were paid to me recently. Ten thousand gold roosters is a sum sufficient. My warmth has carried me away. Perfect, undoubtedly. And that she would make her... Uh, do you think that such a girl deserves to be well thought of? Yes, father. That she would make a desirable man. Very desirable. And that her husband might find satisfaction with her. <laughs> I have not the least doubt about it. There is one little problem. I fear she does not have the fortune we might reasonably expect. Oh, father. Fortunes are of little importance when one is sure of marrying an honest woman. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. It must be said that if she does not have the cash that we need, we shall have to make it up somewhere else. Yes, I hear you. Oh. <laughs> I am glad that you agree with me in everything. For her beauty and her generous manner. Have conquered my soul, <laughs> and I <laughs> shall marry. Provided she comes with some doubt. <laughs> <laughs> what now? You shall marry her. Yes, marry my love. Who you? <laughs> you. I, 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 what is the meaning of all of this? Ah. <laughs> I am overcome by a sudden dizziness. I, <laughs> I must retire. Kitchen and drink a large glass of cold water. <laughs> oh, well. There goes another one of your effeminate folks <laughs> with no more standard than chicken. <laughs> well, that is what I've that is what I've planned for myself. As for your, your brother, I've thought for him of a, a certain widow. <laughs> <laughs> this morning, Abby.